And so I am a magician. I do magic. Of all the kinds of magic I do, all the kinds of things there are that we call magic, my favorite kind of magic, in fact, what I would actually say I consider to be the highest form of the art, is the card trick. There was a card trick included in the first book ever published that included instructions in magic in English. The book was called The Discovery of Witchcraft. It was published in the year 1584. Three centuries later, in his classic text, Sleight of Hand, uh, the author wrote that there is something about a good card trick well executed that always takes with an intelligent audience. And the great Viennese card maestro of the late 19th century, Johann Nepomuk Kofsenzer, declared that card tricks are the poetry of magic. And I agree. <coughs> but while every card trick is imbued with centuries of tradition, the trick itself occurs only in the moment. Card tricks, like all magic, well, like all theater, occur only in the instant. You see no past, no future, only the moment. And so every card trick, or at least every great card trick, is both timeless and yet ephemeral, except for this one. Would you take out any card, please, but not a picture card, because they're a little hard to see for the ending. So any number card that you like. Thank you very much. And if you would be so kind as to write your name in big, bold letters on the face of the card, that's your side of the card. Feel free to include your master or visa, just so we know it's really you. <laughs> Now, take the marker from you. And then, actually, I will trade the uh, card for the marker. Take the marker again, because there's a couple of, and I'll take the card. And you can see her graffiti there. And uh, if you would, there's a couple of rubber bands on there. Would you take off uh, two of the rubber bands for me? Because this trick goes beyond mere sleight of hand. I'm going to actually seal that card in the deck, virtually eliminating the possibility of sleight of hand. This trick has a past. It was first described in a book called The Merry Companion, published in the year 1716 by William Neve. It has a present. There's a moment as the deck goes spinning through the air, hurtling towards its target, reaching its destination, and then falling back to my hands. An instant that exists only then. It will never exist again. After that, we'll live on only in your mind and our collective memories. But this trick, unlike any other card trick, also has a future. It may well outlive you or me. And for as long as it does last, it will have your name inscribed upon it, like a signature engraved on a timeless work of art. This is a trick that truly stands the test of time. This, then, is a monument to card tricks. Ready? <laughs> and is that your card? Is that your name on it? <laughs> yes, it is. There it is. A monument to card tricks. My name is Jamie in Swiss. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.